Hi everyone, Bernard here, hope you're well with the Citizen Quiz. So this week we're having a look at the League Cup, Carabao Cup. You, I won't, won't mention any more names because uh, might be part of the questions, a little quiz on the League Cup and obviously a little bit about this year's League Cup and past League Cups, etc. So not all about City, but mainly about City stuff and obviously teams that City have played. So just a little bit of fun, 15 questions. Uh, a lot of lot of points up for grabs. Six, seven, fifteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-five, thirty-four, thirty-four points up for grabs overall. I'll tell you what I get at the end with this because uh, I might do all right. I do all right on some of it. I mean, there's somewhere you there's seven or eight points for one for, for one question. So you know, I perhaps wouldn't get them all. But uh, let's see. Eh? Please, if you're new to the channel. Push your subscribe button, that'd be great. Push the bell notifications on all these little quizzes and uh, city pass, city presence. Obviously, the city presence is a bit thin on the ground at the moment. We tend to do updates on tweet, Twitter and stuff like that. So please keep an eye out for those. You know, anything that's interesting, I stick on there. I, I do a little bit of an update sort of once or twice a week on that. Well, uh, all things are quiet and obviously um, I'm, record I'm recording this in early April. So I'm not, not sure when I'll be published but I assume we're still obviously waiting at this stage so it's hard when you're pre-recording these things to know what's going to happen in the future obviously but uh, please thumbs up is always great if you can do that do it in do it in the time I allow I mean there's, certain, there's a couple of questions where you need a little bit longer to think about it anyway so please pause pause the, uh, the the video if you want as well if you need more time to think that'll be absolutely fine with me I'm sure no one's going to complain Let's see how many you can score out of the 34. Right, 15 questions. Shall we get on with it? Right, here we go. First couple are about the 2020. This one. 2020 uh, final against Aston Villa. Including the 2020 final. This is question one. Including the 2020 final. How many finals have Aston Villa featured in? So that includes the 2020. I'll give you half a point if you get one either way. I won't be as um, I won't be as um, nice to you on the next question on question two though. So, how many finals have Aston Villa featured in? Question two, including the twenty twenty final. How many finals have Manchester City featured in? And no, no half points for this. You're going to have to be spot on to get your point for this one. So how many finals of City featured in? Work that out in your head. Pause if you need to. Question three. I think this is the last last question on Villa now. True or false? So it's true or false. You've got a 50-50 chance. Villa won the very first two-legged League Cup final. Is that true or false? Villa won the first ever two-legged League Cup final. Question four. Come back to 1976. We all remember Stewart's wonderful overhead kick, don't we? But who scored City's first goal against Newcastle? At the tunnel end where we where the City fans were. Say so, Chew, it's easy, isn't it? Who scored the first goal? You'd be amazed that some people have forgotten who scored the first goal in that game. Question five. I had already mentioned the League Cup used to be two legged. So, what year did it move to a one off final at Wembley? So, what year did it start, it start to be a one off final? I'll, I'll give you half a point if you're a, a season out. Obviously, I'm looking for a season, so you know, like 52, 53, or something like that. So, if you're a year out, I'll give you half a point. But um, what season did the League Cup move to a one-off final at Wembley? That's question five. Question six. What year did City make their first appearance in the final? And who did they beat in the semi-final? to make it to that final. So what year did City make their first appearance in the final? Again, the season or the year, doesn't matter. You can, I'll, give you, I'll give you either on that one. 
with the, whether it was the season or the year. What year did City make their first appearance, appearance in the final? And who did they beat in the semi finals to get to Wembley? It's question six. Now, questions seven and eight are sort of linked together, but obviously, if you don't know seven, it might not, it won't help you on question eight particularly. <coughs> question seven. What was the first sponsor's name on the League Cup? So which so obviously we know the Carabao Cup now. I'm not giving anything away there, but who was the first sponsor? What was it called? What was it what was the first League Cup sponsored called? It was 1981. So might give you an idea. 1981. What was it? It was something that something cup. Just one point off for grabs for that. Just 35 points in total, actually. I just said it wrong there. I think I'm just looking through the points now while I wait. Right, question eight. The competition, well, obviously, if you know that last one, this is one of the, one of the answers also for question eight. The competition has had eight different names, eight different sponsors. Can you name them? I don't want them in order. Just count how many of the eight names it's been called can you come up with, obviously. Not giving too much away with that one. We're not giving too... Obviously, if you got the last question right, you've got two out of the eight. So, eight sponsors. So, there's eight points up for grabs on this. And obviously, if you want to pause this uh, this uh, video, please do so, because I'll, I'll be there. I'll be waiting for four or five minutes, won't I give you time to do that. So, please pause it. So which of the eight had the eight sponsors or which of the eight names? Obviously, it was something, something cut. It always ended in something cut, didn't it? Question nine. Which three managers have won the League Cup four times? So there's three points up for grabs. There's three managers have won it four times. Can you name the three managers? So which three managers have won the League Cup four times? Question 10, you've got an option here. You've got a, four, a choice of four here, so you've got a one in four chance of getting this right. How many League Cup finals have been at the new Wembley? Not the old Wembley, at the new Wembley since it was uh, redone. That's question 10. 11, 12, 13 or 14. So question 10, how many League Cup finals at the new have taken place at the new Wembley? 11, 12, 13, or 14. So I'll just pick one of those. Question 11. Back to 1970, when obviously City made their first appearance, they, uh, they beat West Bromwich Albion 2-1 after extra time. And that was a pain. I didn't get to that one. Obviously, I was watching. I was literally watching on BBC uh, BBC Grandstand, and obviously had a teleprint. They went to extra time, and Grandstand finished. So I was chasing around trying to find a, a radio to find out what happened. I think I think I think it came on the BBC a bit later that obviously City had won. But uh, you know, not like these days where you get to watch all the games. Obviously, um, so City beat West Brom two one. Can you name all three scorers? So we also want the West Brom score as well as the two City scorers in that game. You don't have to be in order, obviously, but uh... very unusual scorers for City. If you want, a little, you know, it wasn't it wasn't the sort of usual suspect score for City in that one, but a very famous West Bromwich Albion player scored so. That might give you a hand in that. Probably one of the best known West Bromwich Albion players. No, sadly, I don't think no longer with us, sadly, but uh, might give you a clue. It's question 11. Question 12. In the first round of this season's 2019 2020 Carabao Cup, who did City beat and by what score? So this was like round three, but it was the first game City played, obviously. Who did we beat and by what score? Sometimes these are tricky little ones, aren't they? Even though it's it's this season, so it's two points up for grab there. Grabs there. That was question twelve. Question thirteen. Who refereed this year's 
2019-20 Carabao Cup final. Who was the referee? Not worth a guess if you don't know. Isn't it? There's only so many. We only seem to get so many referees for the top games, City games. Obviously, there's only three or four probably that we could choose from, to be honest with you. Question 14. During the League Cup, this year's League Cup campaign, City had seven different scorers. There was actually a couple of own goals thrown in there as well, but uh, there was actually seven different City scorers, City names, so City players. So can you name the seven players who scored at least one goal during this competition this year? So the seven points up for grabs. I would have... Uh, I'd have probably got only about four on that. I probably would have forgotten a couple, to be honest with you. So I didn't get all seven of those. I'll, I'll tell you now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have known all seven of those. I'd, I'd, not a chance. See how well you do with that one. And the last one, question 15. So please pause it if it's too fast for you. Which two brothers faced each other in the 2016 League Cup final? Which two brothers? Quite easy when you think about it, but... So which two brothers faced each other in the 2016 League Cup final? Give you two points for that one. Name each one. So don't don't say the such and such brothers. Both both names of the brothers. Let's get two points. If you say only... You only say one name, you only get one point, so... <laughs> if you know who it is, you should know who it is. It shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I think there's 35 points up for grabs. So let's see how, how many we get out of 35. I'll tell you what I get as we go through. Right, question one. Here are the answers. Including the 2020 final, how many... Finals of Villa featured in. Well, they've actually featured in nine League Cup finals. So if you said you said eight or ten, give yourself half a point. But they actually featured in nine, and they won five, and now lost four. Obviously, with the with the defeat to City. So would I have got that? I'll give myself half a point. I think it would have probably been been a little bit out, unfortunately. And the next one, you've got to be spot on with this, including the twenty twenty final. How many finals have City featured in? And of course, we featured in eight, eight finals, and we won seven and lost one. So I'll give myself a point for that. I would have worked that one out. And the one we lost was uh, was this one, wasn't it? <laughs> My first trip to Wembley. So it wasn't the greatest day for me. And when I was, uh, I would have been 14 when I went that there, went with my mate on the coach, just me and my mate when we were 14. So uh, very disappointing, very disappointing day. That's the only one defeat, obviously. Right, question three. True or false, Villa were the very first, won the very first two-legged League Cup. They did indeed. Actually, they, they played Rotherham, believe it or not, not back in 1960, I think it was 1960, 1961, 1961, 60-61 season. Uh, and they lost 2-0 in the first, like at Rotherham, but they took them back to Villa Park and won 3-0, so they won 3-2 on aggregate. So that's true. They did win uh, the very first uh I did know they'd won it. I didn't know. I couldn't remember who they'd play. So I was. I was only asking you whether it's true or false that they they won the very first two-legged one. So give yourself a point for that. Question four. We all remember, obviously, Dennis Stewart's goal in the 1976 Newcastle Cup final. Who scored the first? Well, obviously at the Wembley, and it was fantastic, Peter Barnes. So I was right behind that. There he was running and celebrating afterwards. I'm surprised how many people have forgotten that, actually. Uh, Peter Barnes scored the first goal because, obviously, Stuart gets all the plaudits, doesn't he, for, for his goal. So that was the programme after when they came back after winning the League Cup. That was the first Sheffield United March the 6th. It played at the end of February, wasn't it? So that was the images from there, from, from, the, uh, from the Cup final, some great images.
Question five. The answer to this, what season did the League Cup move to a one-off final at Wembley? I, I've probably been a year out with this, so I'll give myself half a point, but it was a 66-67 season. So if you said 65, between 65 and 68, give yourself half. If you said 66-67, give yourself a point for that one. That's when it moved to uh, sort of six. There's probably six years. There's probably five years. Was it two legged? And then it, on the sixth, sixth or seventh year, it moved to, to a Wembley final. And what year did City make their first appearance in the final? And who did they beat in the semi final? I do have the semi final program somewhere. I just couldn't put my hands on them. But uh, obviously, that was from the, uh, the cup fight. As I said, that's the one I. <laughs> I sort of watched on grandstand. I was too. I wasn't. Going, I was only ten. I wasn't going to away games at that stage. My dad didn't go to football. You know, we went to football all the home games, but he never. He never took me to an away game. And uh, so obviously it was nineteen seventy. And is there anything in here about it? There might be a little link. How they reached Wembley? Yeah, so how they reached Wembley. So you can see in the semi-finals. They beat Manchester United to reach Wembley. So if you said Manchester United, give yourself a point for that. In 1970, give yourself a point for that. If you said 69, 70 season that season, that's the same. No half points for that, though. You shouldn't you should know your stuff on City, things like that. So no half points there. You have a 69, 70 season or 1970 and Man United. Question seven. What was the first sponsor of the League Cup? Well, it was 1981. It was the Milk Cup. So I think I did Liverpool win the very first one. Probably, I know, they won a few Milk Cups, didn't they? But, yeah, the first first title of it was obviously the Milk Cup. Uh, that was question seven, so give yourself a point for that. Would I have got that? I may have forgot. I may have guessed it, but I'll, I'll just say I didn't get anything for that one. And obviously, the last one, United, in 1970, got two, two points for that. Right, and question eight, this is the one, isn't it? How many different sponsors or titles has the League Cup been known as? Well, you've had the Milk Cup there. You've got the Carabao Cup at the other end. So in between, you had the Little Woods Cup, Rumbelow's Cup, Coca-Cola Cup, the Worthington Cup, the Carling Cup, and, of course, the Capital One Cup. So give yourself eight points if you've got all of those. How many would I have got? Three, four, five. I'm, I'm going to say I would have probably forgot one of them. I would, have, I would have probably got seven on that. I would have got seven out of the eight. I probably would have given time to think. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done it very quickly, but given time to think, I would have got seven. So eight points up for grabs there. Have you got those right? Question nine. Uh, I, I'm only going to give myself one for this. I, I would have forgot a couple of these. But, sorry, two. I would have forgot. I would have got two, but I would have forgotten the third one. Which three managers have won the League Cup four times? Of course, Ferguson, which immediately springs to mind, and Mourinho, three with Chelsea and one with United. So he's won it four times. And the other one, I don't know. I, I did. Forget. I should have known this one because obviously it was Brian Clough with Nottingham Forest. I should. I should have really known that. So the three managers have won it four times: are Ferguson, Clough, and Mourinho. So give yourself three points if you got all three or. One or two, depending on how many you got. But, uh, uh, you know, again, if I thought about it for a long, long time, I probably would have get cloth. But you can only have so long thinking, can't you? So I'll just give myself two points for that one. Uh, question 10. How many League Cup finals have been at the New Wembley? Now, I would have guessed at this, but I'm, I'm going to say that I would have guessed wrong. I mean, you give the option 11, 12, 13 or 14. I probably would have said 12, to be honest with you. But it's been th there's been 13, so... Yeah, I mean, uh, give yourself a point if you said 13. I probably would have guessed 12, so I'll be honest with you. I wouldn't have got any points there for that one. Uh, question 11. Yep, of course, in 1970, um, City beat West Brom 2-1. Obviously, the West Brom scorer was uh, Jeff Astle. He scored for West Brom. And the City scorer is very unusual. Uh, a couple of defenders scored for City, but... Two great defenders, two well-known defenders, even even more appropriate with, with what's happening now as well. Of course, Mike Doyle and Glyn Pardo scored the goals. So, two defenders score City goals uh, in, the, in the win over West Brom. And Jeff Astle scored the West Brom goal. So, give yourself three points for that. Yeah, I'll give myself three points. I, I would have got that. Question 12. Obviously, the first round, I'm going to give myself zero points here. I would have forgot. I would have forgot who we played in the first round. I mean, I... 
I may have guessed if I thought about it, but I'll, I'll, I'll say I didn't get this right. Who did City beat in round three, which obviously was the first round for City? Uh, of course, they beat Preston 3 0. Uh, so two points if you got Preston, the 3 0. Point each if you only got Preston, or point if you got 3 0, but if you got who it was. But if you like me, I, I, I'll say I didn't get zero points for that because I, I may have forgotten. Question 13, of course, who refereed this year's Carabao Cup final? Well, of course, it was Lee Mason. So if you said Lee Mason, give yourself a point. And question 14, seven different scorers, excluding a couple of own goals we've had as well. So the seven scorers, yeah, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give myself four. I would have got I'd say I got would have got four of the seven. Um but we've got Sterling. Jesus, Otamendi, I may have forgotten, Aguero, Bernardo, Mares, and Cancelo. You know, probably would have forgot Cancelo, but I probably would have guessed it. Uh, so it's no good reeling all the names off and saying, oh yeah, I've got seven out of ten. You had to have just seven names down and you know, don't so don't cheat, don't have like the full squad down, 20. Oh yeah, that's included. Just uh, make sure you only had seven names down and they're tied in. You know, that's that's uh, I'm, I'm trying to be quite honest, so you should be as well. <laughs> and of course, question 15. The two brothers, obviously, in 2016. A little bit of a trick question. Well, it wasn't really a trick question, was it? Because obviously we're talking this game out. We were talking um, the wonderful game against Liverpool. Uh, and of course, we had Yaya Torre and Colo Torre, who didn't start the game, but he came on after 25 minutes because of an injury. So, uh, obviously, I wasn't. I had to just check whether he come on. I could. I didn't remember myself. I knew. I knew they were in the squads. Obviously, I knew. I knew Yaya had played. I knew Colo was in the squad, but uh, yeah, he did come on in the 25th minute. So he did play most of the game anyway. So yeah, the two brothers, Yaya and Colo, to give yourself two points. So I'll give myself two points for that one as well. Right, so I got 6, 7, 10, 12, 19, 21, 21 and a half, 24, 25 out of 35, which is pretty pretty, pretty bang average. So uh, let me know in the comments what you got, if you did better than that, if you beat me. Um, it'd be great. <laughs> well, 25 is pretty naff, isn't it, but... It's probably okay. I always, I always underestimate how you know what because I sort of do these things and look at them. I underestimate how sometimes not how difficult, but obviously these things are hard to remember, aren't they? If you, you know, it's, it's sort of if you're like me anyway. I've got a rubbish memory at the best of times. So if you beat twenty five, well done. If you get anything over fifteen, well done. If you get less than fifteen, yeah, do a bit more, do a bit more swatting on City. You have to start learning a little bit more. You got, you got a bit of spare time now. Just please, a little bit of history. You know, get uh, follow Gary James on Twitter. You can learn lots of things from the history guys on there and stuff like that. And follow my vlogs, obviously my history vlogs as well. You know, you'll learn something from there as well, perhaps. Anyway, thanks for that. I hope you enjoyed that. Please follow me on Twitter. At Charles Deneen, Deneen spelt with D I W N W N, at Charles Deneen. Or obviously, if you, I have also at under, movie, un, uh, nostalgia, under, at nostalgia underscore movie, because I said it in the wrong order. I got all confused. And that's, again, football and movie based. So you can follow me on there as well. I have two, two separate Twitter accounts, one more personal for football and me, and, and one more for movies and, and things like that. But Either of those, they're both connected anyway. And then on Facebook at Burn Janine with links to moviegamenostalgia.com, my little website for old rare DVDs, posters from the 90s and 2000s, movie posters, and retro board games. So if you can have a look on there, fantastic, moviegamenostalgia.com. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let's look after each other. It's after your family, friends, and yourself as well. You know, make sure you're all... You keep a lookout for all the vulnerable and elderly at this point. As I said, I don't know when this is going out, but I assume we're still, you know, obviously it's not going to be a, two, a couple of months down the line. I'm doing this in early April, so it'd be nice to think things have been sorted, but probably not, obviously. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know. Let me know your scores. Thumbs ups, please. Only takes a split second. And I hope you enjoyed the Carabao Cup quiz. And there's lots more out there. See the links below. There's, there'll be tons more quizzes. As you know, I'm losing count now. I'm doing that. I'm doing a couple every week. So there'll be a few out there if you if you want to do it with your mates as well. I've had a couple of people saying they had they had some mates. Uh, well, 
got mates around. They had people on um, Skype and they were doing the, doing this in the background just for a laugh, you know, just doing this one of my quizzes in the background. So, you know, more the merrier. All good fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all again, hopefully, very, very soon. This is Bird is saying goodbye for now.